What's up guys, Crouching Walrus here. Uh, I have a bit of a Christmas surprise for you guys. I wasn't planning on making this video, but I just saw it on Reddit. This is the XF5F Skyrocket. It is a plane that's not currently available in the research trees of War Thunder, but it is in the dynamic campaign mode, and I just figured I'd try it out, get a feel for how it handles and performs, and I just figured while I'm at it, I may as well make a video on it and tell you guys the performance. Alright, so first things first, how fast does she go? And the answer to that question would be 596 kilometers per hour at 5,000 meters. And it's about 507 kilometers per hour at sea level. Which is a bit of a letdown because I was led to believe by the interwebs that this thing did about 613 on the deck. And although the aircraft does roll progressively worse and worse the faster you get, it has absolutely zero control forces modeled on its elevator. So you can pull as tight of turns as the airplane will allow at any speed, because this is one of the few planes in the game that still don't have elevator control forces modeled. And with the configuration that it had in the dynamic campaign, I'm not sure if that's with all upgrades or none, but with that configuration it climbed to 5,000 meters in 3.8 seconds, and it had an initial climb rate of 0 to 1,000 meters of 2,000, excuse me, 20 meters per second, which would be about right for the actual aircraft. And the weapon configuration on the XF-5F in-game is two 20mm AN M3 cannons in the middle of the nose, and two 50 cals also in the nose. And as far as the 20mm cannons are concerned, I'm just assuming that they're AN M3s based on the sound that's modeled. I don't know of any case where this aircraft was historically fitted with this armament. The only historical armament options that I'm aware of for this thing were 450 cals and two 23mm cannons. As far as other handling characteristics go, this thing turns kind of like an XP-50, and its acceleration is beyond ridiculous, leading to its uh, energy retention in turns being beyond ridiculous. It neglects to bleed almost any speed at all, even in high G turns, so this thing is kind of a UFO at the moment. And if you're still confused on how exactly you access this aircraft, you just go to Menu, Dynamic Campaign, you click on the Pearl Harbor Campaign, Start, you're going to join as the US, and make sure your year is set to 1941, and you accept, and you just click on a, you start a mission that has the XF-5F available, and usually at least one will. If it doesn't, just repeat the process, and eventually it should show up at least. And you can see on this bomber escort mission, the XF-5F is available, so I'm just going to accept. And there we go, we're done. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video.